Oh, I'm filming this at the end actually, but I'm going to stick it in at the first of the video. I forgot to mention that newer washing machines have a filter that's accessible from the front of the machine or somewhere so you don't got to take it apart. And the filter goes before the pump so that nothing can get into the pump. It gets caught in the filter and you just got to pull the filter out and clean it, kind of like a dryer filter. This guy is 11 years old. It doesn't have that, so uh, you got to got to take the pump out and uh, get stuff out of the pump. This is the second time I think in 11 years I've had to do this. Alright, so I got the front panel off my washing machine here. It's a front load washer. Um, so I'm making a funny noise and it hasn't been spinning out all the time and I've determined that the pump has got something in it. The pump is right there. Um, let me see here if I can position this headlight. Hold on a second. I'll put it on my head. Alright, so basically, uh, whoops, there's a pump here, um, and it's usually pretty accessible. It's right in the front here. You can tell this coming down from the tub. You see the bottom round part of the tub there. So that's coming down from the tub into the pump. So the input is back there. And then this is the pump output, and you can trace the hose going way back out and where the exit is out there. Um, in an ideal world, you could just take these off and fish in there and see what's jammed or whatever. But problem being that even when this is pumped out, there's going to be some water in there. As soon as you take that off, water is going to gush out of there. So you need to have a container to catch the water. But the container won't go under. This pump is really low down to the bottom of the... Uh, look, I can just get my finger in there. The pump is really low down there. So what you got to do is the pump is screwed to the base of the unit with one screw here and one in on the other side where you can't see there. So you got to take those off. i got a wrench for that. You take those two off and release the pump. Before you do anything with the pump, you can see... Oops. Uh, right there is the electrical coming into the pump. So you just push the little tab on the electrical thing. Oops. Uh, I'll switch hands again here, sorry. Push the little tab on the electrical and pull it out. Now, you're not going to electrocute yourself. And now I'm going to just take my... I've got a socket wrench here with an extender to reach onto that. <coughs> And uh, it's not going to go so well with one hand, so I'm going to turn the camera off and take those two bolts off of there. And I'll show you what comes next. Okay, so now they're just hand tight. Take them out. And the other one, you can just barely see right there. I'll take it out. Alright, now what you're going to see here is once those are out, you've got a lot of room to move that pump around. And what you can do is, you can get it lined up right on the edge of the container. And again, I can't show you doing this while I'm doing it because I've only got two hands here. And then you're going to, once you get it lined up properly, you need a pair of pliers. If these things are fresh, you can pinch them with your hands. That's really difficult. So, you need a pair of pliers. Ideally, channel locks are better. Channel locks are the adjustable pliers with the adjustment thing here in the middle. Um, these ones, I will be able to basically just barely grab that and then squeeze it tight. Oh, maybe I will be able to show you. Hold on. You grab it and squeeze it tight and then move the clamp up the hose and then you can pull the hose off of the pump there. Um, now, you won't get any spillage while you're moving the clamp. You're only going to get spillage when you're pulling off the hose. That's really difficult to do with one hand, so I'm going to do that with two hands and show you what it looks like. Okay, so the hose clamp is now off, and this is a little bit um, difficult to pull off of there, so you got to work at it a bit um, with two hands. Uh, while you're doing that, like I said, you want to have your container and have the pump positioned so that um, 
Here, let me just position it and I'll show you. Basically, you want to try to keep it so that it's over the lip of a, some kind of a dish or container. This is just a cheap plastic uh, whatever container. Um, and uh, work that hose off and it's going to start spewing um, water when you do. So be careful. Alright, so give it a tip. I'm tipping it up like that. See if you can't get everything drained out. The inlet side is probably going to still have some. Whoops! Ugh, the edge there. The inlet side, just by how low it goes there, is going to still have some water in there. I've got to take this clamp off as well from the inlet side and take the pump completely out of there. I can see just looking in here. There's an impeller or something. Doesn't look too bad. I can't see anything. Oh wait, that's not an impeller. That's a nickel. There's my basic problem is I got a nickel stuck in there. So uh, yeah, there's my problem. That's not it. It looked like it was a round thing that's meant to flap open and closed or an impeller or something, but no, nope, it's a nickel. So there's my problem. So um, we'll we'll take this clamp off. Take the pump right out of there. I may have to take the pump apart in order to get that out of there. We'll see. Um, well, I'll show you what's... Okay. Um, oops, where's the angle that I'm looking for there? Uh, there, you can see... No, oh, you can't see. You can see that I got it off of the... Crap, I'm just trying to get the angle here. Anyway, there, the pump fell out. There's the inlet for the pump. Uh, that I was just showing you there and here's the pump itself it's still got some water in there I'm going to take it right out of the machine it's not connected to anything now you can see uh, let me zoom out there there we go basically there's no electrical connected there's no hoses connected and now I can fart around with it to see what I can do to get that nickel out I'll try grabbing the nickel with a pair of needle nose pliers. Um, there's a small chance I'll be able to pull it out, but it's probably stuck in there because the diameter of the nickel is just slightly smaller than the diameter of the outlet, so it's probably just not going to come out there. Yeah, I can get it pretty easily with the needle nose pliers. Let me see if I can just pull that out. Oh, yeah, there. Pulled right out. So the diameter was smaller, but uh, close enough that it came out pretty easily. So that's the funny noise we've been hearing. While I have it out here, I'm just going to have it a good look over. Doesn't look like anything's busted. There's the impeller in there. You can see it's got three fins on it for driving the water. Uh, looks pretty good. There's no uh, damage to those impellers. With all the noise it had been making with that nickel in there, I was kind of afraid that there might be some broken bits from the impellers. So I'm just going to put it all together backwards from the way I took it apart, and everything should be hunky-dory again. Let's do that. Alright, so those clamps are a lot harder to get back on than they were to take off, so I had to go find my channel locks. Uh, that's what they look like, adjustable pliers. I had to get a wider mouth uh, open on it uh, so it should go pretty easily with the channel locks the regular pliers couldn't quite get wide enough to get a grip to get a grip onto that pinch clamp there I'm gonna put it back together now so it took me two hands to get the pinch on it there but once I get the pinch started with the channel locks it's pretty easy to hold it and pinch it and then I can put that on there fairly easily whoops Alright, when you got the clamp back on, give it all a really good look over to make sure that it is on, that the rubber is secured up properly and everything. Um, this one's a little bit cockeyed, the clamp is, but it's securely on there all the way around so I'm not worried about it. And then I'll put the other one on here and make sure it's all secured again as well. Alright, so I think I can do this with one hand. Pinch it. And bring it up onto there and let it go and now we're done with that part 
I just got to put it back onto the proper spot here, bolt it into place, and plug the electrical back in, and we're golden. And we just plug in the just plug in the electrical again, and we're golden. Now I'm just going to give that another spin. Put it through another cycle just to test it out. But it should be great. That's all there is to it. You can you can hear the washer going up there. One thing I forgot to say is when you're all done here and get it all back together, um, run it, keep it open here and look really closely. So I'm looking at this inlet back here, which I can't get a good view of on this camera with the pump being installed. And I'm just watching underneath very closely to make sure there's not even the slightest drip of water to make sure that I got my clamp on properly. So I'm just running on the delicate cycle here. It doesn't spin very much. That's why you only hear it every now and then. It's the delicate cycle. Um, but I'm just keeping my eye down there very, very closely to make sure there's not the slightest drip of water.